Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hammerhead Hobbies. In this episode, I'm going to clean up the dried up paint out of this airbrush. Alright, welcome back. So today's project, I'm going to be cleaning out the dried up paint out of this airbrush that I forgot to clean out because I got really busy and just left it there. And now it's all dried out, so this has been about three days now. The paint's been in there. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take out a removable paint bowl. So I'll remove that, place it off to the side. And I know people have the tendency to remove the needle first, but there is dried up paint in here. And pulling the needle out, forcing it out, might damage the O-rings that are in here. So I don't want to do that just yet. What I want to do uh, first is grab some acetone. So acetone will dissolve the paint much faster and quicker than isopropanol. It is more potent than isopropanol. So if you're using a lot of it, just make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Now I am in my spray paint booth in here. So I'm going to check to see if the needle moves back and forth now. Okay, so you can see it's moving back and forth slowly. I don't want to force it. Again, any dry paint will uh, have a potential of damaging the O-rings that are in there. I don't want to do that. You can see all the paint that's come off so far. All right, so definitely unclogged it. So you can see all the paint coming out. So I'm just gonna keep putting acetone in there to loosen up the paint and dissolve it. And you can see it's spraying out a little bit clear each time I do it. Now what I'll do is I'll pull the needle out. And it should come out easily. It's just one did. There's no grinding, but you can tell that the needle is green. And I'll just set the needle aside. Okay, now I'll be putting some acetone in without the needle. Uh, I'm going to use this Q-tip. What happens with a Q-tip, it absorbs the paint and the acetone. And it could take the paint out via the little paint portal there. Now, oh, let's just squirt out some uh, from the needle. What you want to do is keep your airbrush angled down so the acetone or cleaner uh, drips out the, the tip and not towards the mechanism of the airbrush and through the other O-rings. Now, my airbrush has a little bit of a problem with the trigger sticking, so I constantly have to kind of put it up. Just keep putting the acetone in, and you can still see that there is paint coming out. And I'm going to start using isopropyl alcohol. I'll put the isopropyl in the paint well. Oh, um, so my trigger is stuck again and it all escaped. I'll try adding some more and you can see there it's escaping. But it's a lot cleaner. I'll put that aside and we'll start with our needle cleaning. Take some isopropyl, put it on a cloth 
sometimes I do it on a microfiber and what you want to do is you want to just start in the middle and pull back you don't want to push forward and damaging the needle tip and what I do is I'll rotate it as I pull it back that'll clean it up Not, you don't want to scratch it or sand it because what will happen is you'll ruin that fine coating on the needle so the needle has got to be really smooth Okay, we'll take off the tip protector and you can see the needle sticking out the front of the tip and as I push it in you'll see the needle moving back and forth. What I'll do is I'll clean that up. Now you don't want to damage the tip so what I do is I pull back the trigger and then I'll clean the tip with a needle inside so you don't damage the needle. We'll take the tip protector and just give it a once over. I mean this doesn't affect the performance but it's, I like to keep my airbrush nice and clean. Carefully putting the tip protector on so you don't damage the needle again. Okay and you just put it on finger tight. You don't have to crank it or anything. A lot of people use pliers. You shouldn't have to do any of that. That should sit in tightly with an o-ring or if it, the o-ring isn't there or not working just put some uh, thread sealer okay so it's spraying very clean now now let's attack the bowl now there's a whole bunch of dried up paint in there I'll start off by putting some acetone as it works more effectively to dissolve the paint. And what I'll do is I'll just rotate it around, get the acetone in there. Um, now you can see why I wear gloves because I get acetone and paint all over the place. Uh, but just keep it in there, shake it around a little bit. We'll use our, our brush to uh, remove some of the thick stuff and add a little more acetone. Okay, brush it around some more okay, and that dissolved a lot of the paint I'll use a towel and a q-tip now to clean out the bowl Alright, now you can see how clean that bowl is. There's a mirror finish to it, and that's what you want. You want a nice mirror finish in your bowl uh, so the paint can just get sucked in and not stick around. Let's attach this bowl back onto the airbrush. I've got a bit of isopropanol left on the napkin, so I'll just clean the airbrush. We'll install the back balancer and stop. And give it another quick wipe. I mean, this is three years old, this airbrush, and it practically works and looks brand new just by doing simple cleanings. I don't have to take it apart all the time. This is just with dried up paint. You can see how clean it is inside there. We'll just give it a test go. Okay. Oh, and it works flawlessly. It just atomizes the paint. I don't know if you can see that. It atomizes the uh, isopropanol right there, comes out in a nice even mist, very clean, and that's how you clean out an airbrush with dried up paint inside. So I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you enjoy your builds.